first of all, Dubert, thanks so much for everything you, you did for us. It was a pleasure working Thank with you. you. I know you wanted to, when you first spoke, you hadn't a chance to see your family yet. What was that like, you know, spending the week with them and just processing it? Was great. You know what, it was, uh, was easier than I thought it would be, just because it feels right. Uh, no, it was definitely, definitely a nice moment having to see them and having a time to chat with my wife face to face. And uh, it was definitely way easier than I thought it would be. Steph, on your right. Pascal, um, if you look back at your career, obviously the Stanley Cup probably one of the really stands out. Are there any other parts of your career that really mean a lot to you or sort of stand out to you? Well, just uh, throughout my career, obviously, uh, starting in Minnesota, having a coach like John Lemaire, uh, putting a lot of responsibility on my plate uh, right away in my first year, playing a lot of minutes by him. I, uh, Will always be grateful for, for the way he uh, gave me a chance to be in the NHL and, and gave me a big role right away. Uh, obviously, I have to, along the way, bounce back, bounce around a little bit, uh, New York with Atlanta, and uh, to, to end up here and uh, basically came in here. Uh, people would think, thought I was just carrying me and hose of sticks and around uh, carries equipment, and uh, ended up, uh, I think, being a being a piece of puzzle that uh, made this uh, made, made this team uh, successful along the way here since I've been here. Dubert, um, it's such a unique career not being drafted. And I think for a choice of better words, a late bloomer, where you really figured things out in the latter part of your career as far as your conditioning and everything else. Um, any, any regrets? I mean, it's, it's all probably always tough not to go out in your terms, but when you look back at your whole career, do you feel like, boy, I proved a lot of people wrong and there's a lot of satisfaction there? Yeah, uh, like you said, probably kind of a late bloomer. Didn't get lucky right away when I was 17. My draft year broke my leg there. Uh, didn't play that entire season. So, uh, yeah, as far as proving people wrong, I think I uh, I think tried to do that. Uh, people always second guessing uh, the, the players that were playing with Sid. Uh, even if it wasn't me, it was somebody else. People always think they're, they're, they're never good enough to play with them. I think I. Anyway, if, if I ask him, I don't think he liked too much about it. Uh, hopefully the rest of his career will be, will be better, and people can say, yeah, he, he's better now because he's playing with different players. But uh, that, that's the way I approach it. Definitely try to prove people wrong and uh, maybe have a little chip on your shoulder because uh, Pascal, um, along the way, over the course of the last few months, was there any other players who had gone through physically what you were going through, had gone through that similar protocol that you talked to or got advice from or anything in terms of how to manage it all? Well, uh, obviously the doctors that approved my protocol had spoken with uh, doctors that had approved protocols for other players in the league that at the, uh, I've had some, some blood clots and some uh, some PEs, but the situations they were in, there were different things that there were a lot of different protein that weren't right. Mine was basically created by the fact that I blew my knee in Ottawa and uh, the, the vein of my calf was was damaged, and then every time I would uh, I would get dehydrated or the blood flow or flying or getting hit or or, or getting fatigued, that would uh, that would create some, some problems for me. Uh, definitely spoke with the other guys, they were, like I said, different situations, but yes, we, uh, we did not then. Pascal, have you gotten any indication uh, what you might do with the organization, I think as long as lines, what, what would you want to do with the Penguins if you have a chance? Uh, hard for me to say right now, just still fresh, still don't really know where I'm at. Uh, definitely would want to stay, stay here in Pittsburgh and uh, try to prepare to help this team when obviously I just finishing right now. I don't know what position or whatever would be would be needed, but we'll see. Definitely we'll have a, a talk with, with Jim the next uh, next week or so to, to really define a role for me. Pascal, does the uh, media becoming part one of us, does that interest you at all? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, obviously I can also speak French, and uh, maybe the other language 
I, I don't know exactly how to express myself to be part of you guys yet, so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Maybe that, that's something that definitely addresses me uh, along the way. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll try to visit the avenue too. Seth Mulberry. That's what you spoke about how you know, riding a bike and things like that maybe helped you later in your career. Are there any limitations with that style? Of just working out in a normal sense? Like it's nothing. We're working out. I can go still go all out, even though I'll take a little break here. I'll uh, no no limitation whatsoever. Just uh, definitely will have to revisit with the doctors. What uh, I'm don't really feel like injecting myself every 12 hours. I did it to to keep going here to, to play hockey, but definitely another another medication will. Uh, that he put, he put in plan for me to, to take. Your teammates speak so passionately about what you meant to them. How do you react to their words and, and what does that group mean to you? Yeah, that's, that's the tougher part. That's, uh, these guys, they, we, we've been through so much. They know I've been through a lot, but every single guy in this locker room has had issues and that has had like step play little bumps in a row that have to go go through as well so it's uh we developed like a it was it's, it's a tight locker room so uh, the core guys that have been here for a while obviously um, are the ones that, that that you care for but it's it's such a uh, such a good group that everybody that's coming in feels so welcome that it, it, it creates a creates a great uh, great locker room but i definitely that, that's the tougher part you know, feeling like you you're you're letting your, your teammates down that uh, might not that uh, might not keep it going Cooper, nobody obviously ever questioned your effort, your energy, but there seems to be some questions about that with the rest of this team, and that comes has come from the players themselves. It came from the GM. What do you think is the issue there, and how does it get fixed for this team moving forward? Well, uh, that, that, that's a hard thing. You, know, you you got to find in life and in, in everything you do, you have to find something that will let a fire in you, that will uh, that will get you to the next level to, to, to everything you want to you want to accomplish in life and that's uh, that's what all these guys have to find they have, they have to find find a reason find find a goal find something that they, they care enough for to uh, to make them push as hard as they can every day Pascal you mentioned it was easier than you thought being home with the family what did your kids reaction been to having daddy home and how important was it for you for them to see you play at least for yeah, obviously I would have wished it kept going, but like I said earlier, the uh, I think the selfish way of, of doing this would have been to ignore all the signs and to just push everything aside and, and to just keep playing. I don't know, that would have been the selfish way to do it. Just It would have been easier as far as it is today, but uh, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's the right way just by looking around, talking to everybody, everybody's with <laughs> talking to everybody, everybody's telling me, uh, yeah, you, you, you made the right move, uh, I was worried for you, so uh, it definitely makes it easier when I, when I hear that from everybody. Uh, Duper, I know that the decision comes with a great deal of disappointment, but what you were just saying, it, uh, how important is it to, do you feel a sense of relief that, that, that you know you're doing the right thing? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Definitely feel really by I'm walking differently in the, in the last uh, in the last little while since we kind of announced it. I uh, no, it's definitely really you know the, the last couple of weeks there were, were a little different for me as far as a hockey player. I was uh, I was actually starting to be hesitant a little bit on the ice too by just going to games and 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 try to not not trying to ignore all the signs like you you we're all used to do. You block a shot, you get hit. Yes, it hurts, but you try to ignore it and you try to play through everything. Uh, since I got back and since when I had these little, little incidents there, all I did was try to listen to my body. You, you can't play hockey that way. Thanks, Pastor. Well, thank, thank you. you. All right.